Okay, so I'm going to start uh, working on this cabinet here, and um, I'm going to use uh, a, I don't, I think it's called an air compressor. Um, I just know it blows a lot of air, and my husband said I could borrow it or use it. Uh, so, anyways, um, I think it's going to be easier than, like, trying to get all those spiders out. I think it'll be much easier to blow them off than, like, scoop them out with the uh, broom and stuff. And I better hurry because uh, it's starting to rain. Good time. Okay, so this is total trial and error. It's completely not rocket science. I've got my uh, Coastal Blue General's Finish milk paint here. Love that. Little paper bowl. And what I did was I just... Um, I don't like to pour my paint from straight from the can, especially on such small cans because it wastes a lot, I feel. So I just scooped in three big uh, kitchen tablespoons full of paint, and then I put in uh, two, maybe one and a half uh, spoonfuls of water just to kind of thin it down. Um, and I don't know how this is going to turn out, but hopefully good. And right here I just have two inch chip brush and um, printout from the internet that shows all the different colors of one color on top of the other and kind of what it looks like so we will see how this turns out okay now boys uh you guys want to make fun of me right now or do you want to tell me how cool i am you are the coolest ever Jane. i know thanks <laughs> i know what can i say that's pretty snazzy isn't that cool just brushing it on wherever What do you got to say? Are you kidding me right now, you little chicken? Jeffrey? What's up, Jeffrey? Beautiful. I just wanted to show you how little of um, glaze you pick up with your chip brush. You just barely dip it in the, in the glaze, just a little bit on the edge. Kind of wipe all the excess off. And then what you're gonna do is just light, really light, like I'm barely touching this board. You're just gonna really lightly Drag that glaze over the surface, okay? Kind of brush it on. And then you'll see streaks in it right now, but what you're gonna do is, as soon as your brush starts to, you know, go dry and it seems like you wanna put more glaze on, you just brush over it maybe one more time. Now you can still, still excuse me, can't even talk today. Maybe that's uh, too many glasses of red wine. Anyhow, you'll still, you'll still see streaks in the glaze, but go down and, and put on one more little section, and then come back with your large chip brush and just kind of brush over it. You're only, again, lightly brushing it, but you're just brushing it enough to brush out those streaks. You'll, you'll, you'll get it once you do it, you know, yourself, but it's pretty easy.